This is an update on the latest custom CNC that I've been working on for the shop. I, uh, I've had this one here operational for a little bit, but uh, I had some last minute things I needed to button up on it, like the cable track over here on the side and the, uh, the PC and some of the other electronics. The, uh, the PC, all the, you know, the electronics you see up here in the front, uh, even the keyboard and the mouse I have up here just sitting on the board, I can tell you very adamantly now that I've had this running for a little bit, you really want to avoid this. It's a great idea. The arm is cool. I like the arm on the side. That's really good. But you see the plate that's sitting right up here in the front? That's to block all the chips from flying around because they're going everywhere. Matter of fact, I've actually already kind of killed the PC once. It, it had chips falling down through a crack. It started building up. And next thing you know, uh, the thing won't boot back up. It's missing operating system. So I ended up having to blow it all out, blow it all out. I've done this before, by the way, because, you know, whatever. Uh, but it thankfully didn't actually blow it up. What had ended up happening was there is an external SATA. I think that's probably where it was. But anyways, it had a whole bunch of chips inside there. I blew everything out really good, and it came back up. But anyways, watch out for that. So uh, let's see. The, the part here that I'm cutting in this video, this is going to be um, an upper motor mount. If you look right up here for the uh, Z-axis stepper. So yes, this is actually in production. I'm I'm currently using this to make more parts for more CNC's that we're building. So pretty cool there. Um, so lastly, I guess I will try to keep this brief. I just want to show you a little bit of it cutting. I do want to talk a little bit more about various components. And for any of you that haven't seen any of my videos before, I just want to mention that yes, these are all entirely uh, you know designed uh, from scratch and machined in house. Um, every part on here is uh, manufactured minus, say, like the 8020 and, of course, the motors and all that, right? So, pretty cool. So, let's get to cutting. All right, so I'm just going to follow along with the video here and just give you kind of the color commentary as we kind of roll around. The uh, material right here is 6 inch by uh, half inch thick aluminum. It seems to be cutting out pretty well. And then we come back here, we got the Planet CNC software running on the right. The uh, arm that's on the side there is really cool. You might want to look into getting one of those. I forget where I got it. Um, Planet CNC board, Steppers Online driver. The computer on the side here, this needs to be covered up a lot better, but just any old piece of crap computer you got laying around would be great. Um, I've been thinking about small things like the mini ITX motherboards and uh, Intel Nooks. Uh, Makita laminate router. So the Makita laminate router has ended up working pretty well. The big uh, downfall of these things is that they don't come with collet sets. So you get this one here is a quarter inch and you can get a sleeve for it that will reduce it down to eighth of an inch and that's all you get. That's about the shank size that I run all the time but still it might be a deal killer for you. Alright so here's a better view. You can see um, how we clamped it in there. And let's see, the plate's on the side, if you didn't figure that out, that's just to kind of control the chips flying everywhere. The fully supported rail, we get uh, those, I think that was about a 1300, 1500 uh, millimeter length, got for around 100 bucks. The table is a cool thing, I'll link that in there, it was the 25 series, um, 8020, it's only half sided so that you can use it for track if you want. So here's a closer look, you can see it cutting. As it goes around here, you might hear, you can kind of hear a little bit of chatter here and there, but it doesn't seem to be translating it, uh, that chatter into the edge. It looks like a really nice clean edge as it goes around here. Right there, you can see down in the bottom a little bit of a kind of a heat affected zone. We're running without any kind of fluid. I didn't even want to spray it because it seemed like it was doing really well just kicking out the chips. And let's see, pull back a little bit and uh, look around. There's that arm again from the back side. The, as you can see, the computer table is just laying on some rack that we had around. All right, then here we have the Planet CNC software. They just call it CNC USB. So that's it. It costs about $120 US. I think it's $100. I don't know. You look online, you'll see. The nice thing about this versus some of the others, you can see the running G code, of course. But you can easily run from any line, just right click and go. It shows you what it's doing as it's going along. Uh, we'll see that again in a minute. Then back to it running. Yeah, as you can see, the traverse speed is set pretty low. 
I was pretty happy with the what, uh, the first passes here. So you'll see as it makes the first cuts, it's it's really pretty nice and clean. It's actually it's really nice and clean the whole way through. The stability issues with you know any CNC, but you know the hand you know whatever DIY CNCs. If you're not stable as you cut through the part more as you start getting into these deeper metals, you don't have really any tolerance between the sides of the cutter and the ends of the, um, the the walls of the aluminum. So as you're cutting into it, when you finally get you know down deep enough, you, it really increases the likelihood of the cutter starting to kind of glance off the sides of the part. And if you can imagine this, it hits a little bit. The spin of the rotation of the the, the rotation of the the end mill causes it to kick away and hit the other wall, and then it, you just get into this insane oscillation if you don't have the thing really stable. So that's what we got with the the slide blocks in the linear rail here. Here you see the part taking a little bit more shape. When we get zoomed in here, you see the edges are still looking really nice. All four holes so far, nice and clean, uh, no problems, no you know major oscillations of any kind. So it just keeps cutting. The uh, thing we found out that that I thought was kind of neat about it was how quickly this whole unit became kind of like a, I guess you'd say a non-event, meaning that. It was cutting, we prototyped, we cut a few more parts, and we said, okay, it's working. We threw on the things that we needed to cut and then just ended up walking away. I pretty much spent uh, most of the cut of the whole part just sitting in the office working on something else. This is another look at Planet CNC's controller software. The yellow dot you see moving around is the actual end mill doing the cutting. And as I tilt it sideways here, you'll see that it's color coding each line of G-code as it completes. The step down right now is 5 thou. That's pretty typical, I think, for the stuff that I normally do. You might be able to tell when we get zoomed in here. The triangles you see, by the way, are the tabs or the bridges that we're creating so that the part doesn't jump out. So I think that's probably a pretty good place to stop. The thing's working, working great. I might have a few more things to do to it just as far as like moving the computer around, but, but it's a done deal and now I can move on to other projects. Um, some people have asked if they can purchase these or even if they can get some plans. That's something I'm working on, working on both. I'm not sure when I'll be able to actually start selling the, the machines themselves, but I have been looking at this service that's essentially a paid for instructables and I'm thinking I could put plans up there and the nice thing is it's designed in a way that I can include even a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to put them together. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found that interesting. I will let you know if anything changes and I'll see you next time.